It's 10 trivia questions from a confidence round. They're totally random. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and thanks for supporting the show on Patreon. Showing some love to certain Patreon subscribers this week. You can join the crew at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Today's spotlight is on Brad Pepe, who joined in April of 2021. I do not know a lot about Brad, except that his name is Brad and uh, he's from New Jersey. And so I, since I don't know that much about Brad, I'm going to read you some fun facts about New Jersey on behalf of Brad. Thank you for your support, Brad Pepe. And here are some Jersey facts just for you. Number one, New Jersey has the highest density population of any state in the U.S. If you didn't know that, that's interesting. 90% of all people who live in New Jersey live in what is considered an urban area. Not a lot of suburbs, mostly just herbs. Number three, more cars are stolen in the city of Newark than any other city in the United States. Watch your car, Brad, if you're close to Newark. Number four, New Jersey has a state seashell. It is the knobbed whelk and is known to be used in the Italian dish scungili. I don't even know that. That's interesting. And number five, Beamerville, New Jersey is home to a volcano. What? This is a weird list. Is this a real list or is this fictional? Uh, While it is no longer active, it is a popular site for real estate development. So from volcanoes to carjackings, there are some New York facts just for you. And again, thank you, Brad, for being such a friend of the show. I sent you some stuff, uh, I think, back in April. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll be sending you some new stuff very soon here as I catch up on Patreon rewards. Join Brad and everybody else at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Today's episode 10 random questions from a confidence round. If you're playing along at home, write down your answers, rank them one through 10. 10's the highest, one's the lowest. Use each number one time for a total of up to 55 points. Here we go. Confidence round trivia. Let's dive in. Number one, in economics, what animal represents a declining stock market? Number one, in economics, what animal represents a declining stock market? Number one. Number two, in fashion, what type of hat is a red brimless cap named after a city in Morocco? Number two, in fashion, what type of hat is a red brimless cap named after a city in Morocco? Number three, YYZ is the code used for what Canadian city's airport? Number three, YYZ is the code used for what Canadian city's airport? Number four, what sign of the zodiac is also called the water bearer? Number four, what sign of the zodiac is also called the water bearer? Number five, which member of the royal British family fractured his shoulder after falling off his horse during a fox hunt? Number five, which member of the royal British family fractured his shoulder after falling off his horse during a fox hunt? Number five. Number six, what is the rear of a ship called? Number six, what is the rear of a ship called? Number seven, Belinda Carlisle was the lead singer of which band that split in 1985? Belinda Carlisle was the head lead singer of which band from 1985? Big split, number seven. Three questions to go on this confidence round. Number eight, what company slogan describes its cookies as uncommonly good? What company's slogan describes its cookies as uncommonly good? Number nine, according to the proverb, you shouldn't wash your dirty linen in what? Number nine, according to the proverb, you shouldn't wash your dirty linen in what? Number nine. And number 10, to close things out, in literature, what French physician wrote the book of rhyming prophecies 
titled Centuries. Number 10 in literature, what French physician wrote the book of rhyming prophecies titled Centuries. Those are all your questions for today's episode. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We're back with the answers to Confidence Round Trivia. Let's see if you were super smart by answering these correctly. Number one, in economics, what animal represents a declining stock market? That is a bear, a bear. Number two, in fashion, what type of hat is a red brimless cap named after a city in Morocco? A fez. Number two, a fez. Number three, YYZ is the code used for what Canadian city's airport? That's Toronto. Toronto. Number four, what sign of the zodiac is also called the water bearer? That's Aquarius. Aquarius. Number five, which member of the royal British family fractured his soldier shoulder after falling off his horse during a fox hunt? That was Prince Charles. Number five, Prince Charles. Number six, what is the rear of a ship called? The stern, like Howard. Number seven, Belinda Carlisle was the lead singer of the Go-Go's until they broke up in 85, the Go-Go's. Number eight, what company slogan describes its cookies as uncommonly good? Keebler, those mysterious elves in the tree, Keebler cookies, uncommonly good. Number nine, according to the proverb, you shouldn't wash your dirty linen in public, public. And number 10, in literature, what French physician wrote the book of rhyming prophecies titled Centuries? That was Nostradamus, Nostradamus. And like Nostradamus, I hope that you predicted that you would win today's episode by having the highest score against whoever you're playing against. And uh, I hope you had fun answering those questions. Our fact of the day is about ketchup. Ketchup was once sold as medicine to treat diarrhea and indigestion. Got some diarrhea? Have some ketchup. (laughs) That will not help. Don't do that. Uh, Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers.